I remember once when I lost my job, when I was fired out of broadcasting, September 18th, I'll never forget, 1978. I was be behind in my house notes and my house was up for foreclosure. I did everything I could. I had borrowed as much money as I could borrow. I had talked to family members and friends. I did everything I could and I couldn't get enough money being unemployed for several months, applying for job after job after job and couldn't get a job. I couldn't get enough money to save the house, but I never felt, and this is very important, the feeling that I had, mm -hmm. I never felt that I was going to lose that house. I wanted that house. And so what I did was very uncanny. I released it. I did the best that I could and at that time, with the limited money that I did have, I decided to take a trip with my family to Miami to go down and spend time in the sun with my children okay. and my wife. We caught a Greyhound bus from Columbus, Ohio, and we went to Florida. By the time I arrived on the day that the bank was to foreclose at 12 noon on the house, I got a call from one of my formal assistants who went by the house and called me and said, Les, it's an emergency. Call Columbus right away. I did, and Carolyn Sloan said, Les, you won't believe this. You have a check from the Internal Revenue Service on your income tax, and it was enough to pay the house notes, and I had money over. I never received a refund prior to that time or since that time, and I did not leave, lose the house. So there are things that we don't know or understand, but we do know that if we do certain things, that things begin to happen that's in our favor that shows that the universe is on our side. Mm -hmm. Everything that we're seeking, I believe that if we begin to align our thoughts with action and be relentless, don't try two or three things or 15 or 20 things, but a hundred things, 500 things if necessary, 10,000 things as Edison did if necessary mm -hmm. until we find a way out. Many of us, we eliminate many possibilities for ourselves because we really don't do all we can do. I think A.O. Williams was right when he said, all we can do is all we can do and all we can do is enough. And I think, honestly speaking, even judging from myself, and I think that my commitment is stronger than most people. But if I had to literally measure my, my commitment in terms of what I put forth in my dream, I would say that I might have given about 18 to 20% of what I'm really capable of. Mm. As high in consciousness as I believe that I am, comparatively speaking, where I used to be, I'm still nowhere near reaching 50% of the commitment that I can make to accelerate the growth and the development of my dream and the manifestation of the things that I know within myself that I'm capable of producing. So our biggest challenge is beginning to look at within ourselves to remove those energy blocks because if we are not producing the income that we want, let us not look outside of ourselves, but look within ourselves to find out how am I blocking me? Mm -hmm. Am I really giving it all that I have? I have. Uh, am I really being as creative as I can be? Am I really unstoppable? Am I as relentless as I can be? Am I exhausting every means possible? Am I turning up every rock to find what it is that I'm looking for? How is it that one man or woman can do it and do a million times more than these other people and the other ones don't? It has to be consciousness. It has to be, and when we talk about consciousness, we're talking about a collection of our thoughts, our feelings, and our emotions and experiences used as an active force to produce in our lives that which we want to produce. Because everything that exists in life, the microphones that we're speaking in, the shoes that we have on our feet, the chairs that we're sitting in, the clothes that we're wearing, the homes that we live in, the cars that we drive, all of that came out of our consciousness. That all came out of the invisible into the visible. And man was a vehicle, the, the outlet to produce that. Wherever we are stopped in our dream, we stopped at a place called willingness. 
anybody that has fallen short of their goals, they ran into something that they were not willing to handle. Because in order to reach your dream, in order to make things happen, there must be a willingness to do what is required. If the need is to raise $2,000, and let's say you have a set of tapes for $40, are you willing to make 200 calls a day? Are you willing to stand on a corner and talk to people and say, listen, I've got a set of tapes here that can change your life? Are you willing to make the commitment that you will not go to sleep until you sell at least 10 tapes a day? Are you willing to say, if it takes me 12 hours walking and talking to people all day long until I find 10 people that will say yes? If I have to talk to 200 people or 300 people that in order to provide food for my family, to provide shelter, to not to have creditors hounding me, am I willing to talk to 300 people a day? Am I willing to stand in an airport and sell tapes? Am I willing to go out and make calls again and again and again? Am I willing to knock on doors? Am I willing to do that? See, if we have some skill some ability, some knowledge, or some product, then the only thing that's between us and what we want to generate is our willingness to expend the energy to produce the results that we want. What am I willing to do with my energy, my time, and my knowledge to produce the results? That's the bottom line. What are you willing to do? And what most people don't realize is they don't give up on their goals because it becomes insurmountable or it's impossible, is that they just looked at what they wanted and they just decided within themselves consciously or unconsciously, I'm not willing to, to produce this result. Are you willing to say that I need $2,000 between now and next week and come hell or high water, I will produce that? That's the bottom line. Because the only thing that counts in life are results, not reasons of why you didn't do it but results. That's the only thing that counts. And we are capable of producing results. That's it. That's the bottom line. Are you willing to honor your commitment to do that? What are you willing to do? How many floors are you willing to mop? How many shoes are you willing to shine? How many phone calls are you willing to make? How many sales are you willing to make? How many jobs are you willing to hold? How much service are you willing to provide? Most people don't keep their commitments. They are not willing to be a no matter what person. That I'm going to make this happen no matter what. Most people use escape routes for themselves. Most people have something that they could point to to justify why they haven't produced the results. Some reason. Well, people weren't buying. Or the economy is soft. Somebody somewhere is buying. Somebody somewhere is spending some money. So as we begin to look at where we are, Every time when I was working on developing my dream and I knew that I had to do something, that I had to do it, I was always able to pull it out. Because I started thinking, if a Walt Disney can do it, if a John D. Rockefeller can do it, then I can do it. 